Guys, it is my day off from work, so you wouldn't believe where I'm going today. The Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. I don't believe it. Where do we where do we go? How do we start this tour? All right, you gotta go around the back of the building. You're gonna go up the spiral staircase, through the double doors, down the hallway, second left. There's gonna be an elevator. You're gonna take it to the fourth floor. In the fourth floor, there's gonna be a maze. You're gonna go. The directions to get through the maze is left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. You're gonna find a big round door, and that round door there's gonna be a wizard. You're gonna talk to him. He's gonna give you a ring. You're gonna bring it down back down here. You're gonna give it to me, and then you're gonna go away. Is he on any drugs right now? No, he's high on life. Chris wants to touch a fertility statue so his fertility can be extra potent, I guess. Touch the guy one, right? Oh. Wait, but you, Chris, you can't have kids because they're gay. Yeah. yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, look, it's Beyonce made out of candy. Isn't she so sweet? <laughs> Guys, tell me what you see. Do you either see a duck or a rabbit? How do you feel about that guy hanging from his... Well, it says that there were three stages of self-mutilation. Warriors were first hung from the rafters with rawhide ropes, and then their flesh would tear off after a few minutes, and then they would have the, one of their fingers chopped off, and then buffalo skulls were with, uh, attached to their legs, as they are. They were supposed to run a circle around the village. That is disgusting and awful. Wait, 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 after they got their fingers chopped off and hanging... They had to run around with those on their feet. What? I'm scared. Oh, I don't like that. You know, Chris, what they're really missing in this, in this museum is a bear. Ah. It's just a man sitting in an oven. Are you ready? Man, yeah, did you get some nice tongue in there? It's pretty sick that they kept him in a little cage. Oh. What? Is it the, is it the Amish goat baby? They should have the Amish goat baby in here. Chris, I found Ariel. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, so that chicken survived with its head cut off for 18 months. Chris, you're not that short. No, guys, I'm just a little tired. I have no idea what even to expect for the rest of the <laughs> What? What is this? Lighthouse man. <laughs> That's disgusting. I want the candle blow out. Okay. I think he's trying to kill a vampire right now. The maiden's womb. Oh, that chair looks really comfy. Well, okay, so actually what happened no. with this lady, she wanted to be a Toys R Us kid, so she became a giraffe. What just happened? Yes, Chris, pull on the dinosaur. He's not moving. Alright, so this is a time machine. Oh, who is that fool right there? He looks like a goober with that camera. Come on. What type of shirt is that? Oh my god, that's great. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> See, they have no idea that we're watching them right now. It's a double mirror. <laughs> Guys, you know what this reminds me of? The Franco Siren. 
Wow! What? Wow! Wow! Wait, that was it? Okay, we are now on the hunt for Emily, Jared's girlfriend. Forty dollars. Come on. Can I see? Let's see. This doesn't even cover like. It's like a bib. It's yeah, like a little bib. It's no good. Like we came to visit you. Are you having fun? Yeah. So show the internet what you do. What do you do here? Well. Okay, so you stand here, you greet people, you just dream about Jared the whole entire day working in the Emporium, working very hard. He's working very hard. I'm yes. Sure. Is he just slacking today? He's, he's, he's slacking. Yeah. I'm not very entertaining. I don't know what you want me to do. He's close. Your sister was more entertaining. I go, and I was like, well, she's in the You gotta do something fun. I'll see you later. The, the internet is sad now. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not fun. Jacob is now calling Burger King to see if they have the uh, Cheeto mac and cheese fry things, which absolutely look horrendous. All I need to know is if you have the mac and cheese fries with Cheetos. The Cheeto covered mac and cheese fries. I don't think this is actual Burger King's number, but whoever gets this, just... I called the wrong number, I'm sorry. <laughs> I called Denny's not Burger King. <laughs> Burger King! We found the Burger King! You went the wrong way! Oh, no. Wait, what, what, what's the rating on the Burger King? 2.2 .2 out of 5 stars. <laughs> That's like a 50%, so only half no, of us will get... Less. Only half of us will get sick, okay? That's not a good way to look only at Only 2 this. out of 4 of us will get it's sick. 44%. Look, okay, we're here. And there's a cat right there. Do you want some mac and cheese fries too, little kitty? Come on. Look, the boy is running for his mac and cheese. They're on the menu. Where they have them? Oh my god, this looks so gross. What are rodeo burgers? What's a rodeo burger? What's a rodeo? This is my first the rodeo. the Cheeto thing yeah, you came I'm here for. Right, Jacob, what is going okay. through your mind right now, waiting for the Cheetos? I'm seeing the menu though, and they have an angry Whopper. An angry one. Look at that. It's got fries. It's got jalapenos. I should come to Burger King more often. Like, this is, is full of creativity, you know? Just throwing stuff on things. I love it. You can get a bacon cheeseburger, a four piece nugget, fries, a soft drink, and a cookie for $4. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this man is a little too excited about Burger King right now. Shut your mouth. They're like weird. That's all I can say. That looks so gross. <laughs> They're pretty good. Okay, Ben is like sitting behind the sign. I have no idea what's going on right now. Jacob, what is the official Burger King review? They're kind of gross, to be honest with you. It made me feel sad. What word would you describe it? On my SAT, I was off of vocabulary. My vocabulary, mm mm. I'm telling you, I can't think of words off the top of my head because I have like a third grader's vocabulary. <laughs> Disgusting's a word. That's far from me to you. Calories are in this. Yeah. 